Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Golf. And I know it's been a while since I've filmed. Life has just been busy. But I'm out here today for kind of a unique round, so I've been playing a little bit of golf, trying to get warmed up for the season this year, naturally. And I've come to find that, you know what? My short game is lacking. So I'm out here at Sand Creek in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I'm going to do... A little something different today. I'm playing this entire course, and there are a couple par fours here. It's a short course, but not not that short. With just my pitching wedge and down. As you can see, I don't even have the rest of my clubs in the bag. So this is going to be interesting, and this is the first time I've been out here this season that the back tees are really playing from the back tees. So that's going to make it fun. <laughs> so this first hole here, 150 yards to get up on this green. I think I'm just taking a gap wedge, sending on up there, see if I can't stab it. Oh, and on the topic of the giveaway, yep, we've reached 100 subscribers, and as promised, we will be doing a giveaway. We chose to make some custom hats for all those who have been on the channel and for winners of the giveaway up to 1,000 subscribers. So we will be doing that video soon. I've got the, ha the hats on hand. All i got to do is get them embroidered. So stand by for that. All right, without further ado, let's give it a whack and see what we can do on this here first hole. Let's check it out. Yeah, buddy. All right, not bad for no warm up there. Just came up a little short. Pretty darn good. Let's see what I got on this putt. Rains are a little bumpy today. A little bumpy indeed. But not bad from just off the green there.
Oh, that green knocked me right off. Yeah, as you can see, these greens are more sand than they are green. So that was probably going in if it didn't bump right up against the stuff that was grass right there. But nevertheless, a bogey to start out. That should have been an easy par. Unbelievable. But what are you gonna do? Moving on. All right, ladies and gents, here we are at the second hole. 166 yards to get up on this green. And let's see what the GPS is saying. Yep, 165. That's about right. So, taking the pitching wedge at it, no doubt. Rip one up there, see if I can't stab it, of course. And, uh, yeah, only thing you really can't do here is miss to the right. Everything else is safe. So, it's all good. Let's give it a rip, see what we can do. Ladies and gents, all the way to the back of the green, just off and to the left. Yeah, so that was more like a 170 yard drive with that little pitching wedge. Pretty brilliant. So I think I'm gonna use the putter off the green again and just roll it on up there. See if I can't get it close since I really don't have a lot of green to work with. So ah, I don't like the bump and run and well, why flop it if I can putt it, right? Let's give it a rip, see what we can do. That hurts. Another missed cup because of sandy greens, no doubt. But whatever, four. Still playing, playing pretty good golf so far. On to the next. Alright ladies and gents, and here we are on the third hole. So 130 yards says the stand over there to get up on the screen, but my GPS is only saying 118 to the middle and 127 to the back. So I'm probably playing a nice smooth 54 to get up on this green today. Yeah, it's kind of a strange T box placement over here to the left. So doesn't really afford for all that straight of a shot, but I mean, you know, it's, it's not that bad. You just gotta clear this little gully in front of you and you're gonna be fine. And don't miss to the right, but you got some room to miss left. So, let's give it a rip, see what we can do. Ladies and gents, well there's my ball. Just overflew the green a little bit again with that there 54, but that's okay. I think I'm taking the Texas wedge at it again. It's working out pretty good right now. So, yeah. let's give it a rip. A rip. 
with this here flat stick. See how close we can get it. Oh, that was awful. That was terrible. Wow. See, I know that this green <laughs> tends to slope back to front, so. But I also know that they're really short today. So I should have given a ride anyway. But I didn't. Oh no. Oh. are impossible today. Impossible. <laughs> but that's the name of the game, right? Sometimes greens just aren't ideal. That's all right. Double buggy on that. Moving on to the next. All right, ladies and gents, so here we are on the fourth hole, and really the only hole we're worried about today, 320 yards to get up on this green. Yeah, and a bunch of forced clearance right at the beginning, but I don't know, I feel like I should laser that, but it's downhill, and what, I just hit a 170-yard pitching wedge a couple holes ago, so stands to reason I should be able to do it again and get approximately halfway through this hole and give myself another pitching wedge or maybe even a gap wedge on into the green. So, yeah, I mean, lots to worry about short, but after you clear all that, nothing. <laughs> you can miss anywhere you like. So, let's give it a rip with that little old pitching wedge and see what we can do. <laughs> Alright ladies and gents, here we are, 140 left, which means, let's do the math there, so that was 320 for the entire hole, so 140 remaining, subtract that, carry the two, no, just kidding, so let's see here, that's uh, 220 minus 40, so that was 180 yard pitching wedge, not too shabby. <laughs> you gotta love them apples. So, got the gap wedge in hand. Just gonna give it a nice and easy ripper. See if I can't ride it up onto this green. Let's check it out. Not too shabby. Let's get up there and see what happened. Well, I'm just just short left of the green. Changed to the 54 degree wedge. So, because I noticed that the front of the green was only 121. And um, yeah, I really didn't want to fly this green because that's some Kung Fu treachery. So, <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm gonna club down, shoot for the front of it, right? Because max yardage on my 54 degree is about 135, so. I actually had to take a little bit off of even that. Uh, yeah, but still came up a little short, just pulled it a little bit, and yeah, no big deal. Probably still putting from right there. Let's check it out. Oh, for the three, baby! Woo -hoo -hoo 
<laughs> oh, that deserves a walk up. Let's see what happened here. Where's my ball? Oh, it's not visible in the green because we're in the hole. Oh, you gotta love it. Mm -hmm. Scratching down a three on this hole, little bird sauce, with a pitching wedge, a 54, and a one putt. God, you gotta love that. That is why we play this game. Moving on to number five. All right, ladies and gents, here we are on the fifth hole. Man, that birdie has just got me tickled for today. I tell you what. So, <laughs> let's see if we can't do it again on this hole. Wouldn't that be something? I'd love it. Another par four, second longest hole on this course, 255 yards, it says on the stick over there to get up on this green. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I think I'm taking a, just kind of a light pitching wedge at it, laying up before the ravine that's right before the green on this hole. Definitely don't want to get in that, and that's really the only trouble. So, let's get out that pitching wedge again, give it a rip, and see what we can do. Chunky, but we'll find out. All right, ladies and gents, well, I hit that chunk, well, that drive, I should say, a little chunky. So, didn't go all that far, not even close to the 180 yard pitching wedge I wanted before, but it was a layup, which is what I wanted. Just wasn't, um, you know, didn't get quite the distance that I was hoping for, but I still only have 128 in, so it was a still pretty respectable pitching wedge shot by most standards. Yeah. So, anyway, taking the 54 degree at it now, playing for the back of the green, got 128 left, but a little uphill, so I am playing the back of the green, which is 137. So, yeah, and I've got backboard support back there, and there's no way that I'm pushing a 54 past that backboard. So, I think 54, safe shot. So, let's give it a rip, see what we can do. Might be at the back of the green like I played it, but uh, I'm still up there. Let's go check it out. All right, ladies and gents, here we are at me ball. <clears throat> yep, just off the back of the green. Not bad at all. I'm gonna give it the Texas wedge. Kind of my MO today, isn't it? That's <laughs> what we're doing. Let's see what we can do. Let's check it out. That's unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, that, that should have been in too. That was brutality, but that's okay. I'm liking my putting stroke right now. Just watched a uh, Gary Player tutorial on putting and I really liked it. And been having more confidence in my forward wrist lean. I like it. Anyway, see you on the next, right here. All right. 
right, ladies and gents, and here we are on the sixth hole. 170 yards to get up on that green. Super fly. So, pitch and wedge. <laughs> it's coming out of the bag again. See if I can't uh, send one up there and float it up on there. The only thing you really can't do here is miss to the right. So, yeah. So long as I don't do that, I should be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, oh, this might be a little close. Drive there. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's the ticket. All right. Well, let's give it a rip out there and see what we can do. But you know what? <laughs> Saying that I, you can't miss right, but I really hate missing left because this green kind of slopes to the right. So the the good shot here is to aim right and play a draw into the green if you can do that. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Let's give it a rip. See what we can do. <laughs> oh, hole high, 10 feet, nice shot. <laughs> Buck 70 with a pitching wedge, I'll take it. Right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, walking up to the green here. I'm doing a lot of talking to the camera today, I'm liking this, but I'm following a sixum with a guy behind me who's super cool. So, kind of enjoying the conversation with the gent behind me and the guys in front of me, actually. It's just a grand day to be out here playing golf at Pine, or not Pine Creek, Sand Creek <laughs> in Colorado Springs, Colorado. All right, so there it is. That's what I got left for the birdie. Let's see if I can capitalize on these greens. That's, that's a tough proposition. Let's check it out. Well, I'll take a par since it's the first one of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the next hole. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on number seven. So, a little short hole now. 125 yards to get up on this green. Not a lot to worry about whatsoever. So, and the pin is in a nice placement today, low and to the right, that's where you want it. When it's high left, oh boy. Then you gotta play like a high draw in there with a lot of spin, it's like an impossible shot to stick it up on the top left side. And there's a giant like climb for the shelf that's uh, topped on the left side, so that sucks. But today it's just straightforward on the lower side, so I am digging that. And to that effect, you really don't want to go over this green. I really don't mind coming up short. So, man, you know what? But if I give it a light 54, that should, uh, that should do just fine. Uh, I'm torn between playing a full 58 and a light 54. I just don't know. I'm kind of liking the, uh, the light 54 though, so I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, <laughs> light 54. Let's give it a rip and see what we can do. Ladies and gents, so here we are. Just missed the green a little bit to the right. Let's give it a rip. Let's see if we can't get this one up and down. Let's check it out. At least it was the right yardage. <laughs>
that's what I got. A little longer than I wanted, that's okay. I'm coming up short with chips a lot recently, so yeah, I will take that. Let's go up there and check it out. to see it. A bogey on a 128 yard hole or whatever it was. Unbelievable. All right, moving on to number eight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at number eight. So, 162 yards, it says on the stick, to get up on this green. So, uh, probably playing, well, yeah, probably a pitching wedge. <laughs> Snap it on up there and see if we can't stab it clean and close to get up on this green. The pin's nice and inviting right up front today. So, you gotta love them apples. Let's give it a rip and see what we can do. Opportunity. All right, ladies and gents, here we are. That was spot on on distance, but not on line. So, yep, we're up here, hole high. 64 in hand, fixing the chip on, try to get up and down. deserve a walk up right there for that flop shot that I've been trying to practice so hard recently. Yeah, I mean, if I'd have been just a little bit to the right, that would have been in, baby. That would have been a bit of all right. But it wasn't. And here we are for the up and down attempt. Close up that three, baby. More than one way to make par, David Tom style. Let's hit it on number nine, right there. All right, ladies and gents, and here we are at the ninth and final hole. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Midgard Golf with us. You know we love your company. Throw us a like and subscribe if you feel. We'd love to see you again. And a subscribe, especially right now, since we're about to do that hat giveaway as soon as I can give, get, eh, get them embroidered. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But I want that to be a kind of a special round with at least a couple of us out there playing. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm not doing it right now. So, this hole here, 175 yards to get up on this green. Nice and long today. Yeah, you gotta love it. So, I'm giving it the pitching wedge. Yep, I think that's the stick. Send it on up there. Try not to get in that bunker over there off to the left. It's really the only trouble. Beyond that is the number one green. And a little bit of room in between um, that bunker and the green. So, you might be in some rough over there. but. Yeah, that's all there is really to worry about over there unless you really just smash one, which I don't think we're going to. So, 
yep, it is what it is. So let's try to keep it right and send it up there and put it close for a closing birdie maybe. That'd be nice. Let's give it a rip and check it out. And that's dead where my hips ended up. Just forgot to rotate. Through and through. Yep. Alright ladies and gents, well here we are. <laughs> Again, perfect distance. Just not the right line. Forgot that you need to rotate your hips when you swing. <laughs> Just hit a dead nut straight right out here to the right. So, let's give it the 64 degree, pop it up. See if we can't stab this green. Yes, we did. A little bit to the right, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> I'm just happy to be able to pull off a uh, precision flop shot these days, you know? I've really been working hard on that shot. And um, yeah, it's, it's paying off. I'm getting those little, like, you know, couple of stop drop shots there. Oh, that officer is going after somebody right behind me there. Brutality. But, not an easy par putt. Still, a par putt, nonetheless. Let's give it a rip and see what we can do here. Yeah, what do I got left, like, ah, 12 feet or so? Yeah, that's about right. Let's check it out. Beautiful sunset. Can't complain about that. closing it up with a bogey. But thanks again for watching another episode of Midgard Golf, like I already said at the beginning of this hole. And we will see you next time, wherever it is we're playing. And next time, hopefully, we will be doing that giveaway. So stay tuned and make sure you're watching that content. Thanks again. Have a great day.